NDTV. And you're watching NDTV 24-7. बुलंद भारत की बुलंद तस्वीर हमारा बजाज हमारा बजाज For decades, Bajaj scooters were one of India's most sought-after brands, and now, after 50 years, the company behind this very iconic brand will stop producing them, even as it gets ready to undergo a major transformation. Hello and welcome to this very special show on NDTV. With us here, uh, Rahul Bajaj, the chairman of Bajaj Auto and of course the man who turned uh, Bajaj Scooters or shall we say Hamara Bajaj into a household name. And also with us here, uh, his son uh, Rajiv Bajaj, the managing director of Bajaj Auto and now the man behind the steering wheel who's gearing up to drive the company into newer heights. Thank you both for being with us on this very special show. Pleasure to have you with us. Let me start by asking you, Mr. Bajaj, a watershed moment indeed for Bajaj Auto, scooters that were the dominant part of your business for decades, a very iconic brand, as we said, now perhaps are riding off into sunset. You see, you use the word perhaps, and I think that's very important. Uh, I don't believe the that, uh, I never said so anyway, and I don't believe that Rajiv said at that press conference that he will never make a Bajaj scooter again, or a scooter again. From the year 2000 and earlier, when we were making 60, 70, 80, 90% scooters right. and 0 to 10, 20% motorcycles in our total two-wheeler production, now we are making 95 or more percent in the last two, three, four months, motorcycles and two or three or 400 scooters in the domestic market and a few more for export market. So we have essentially become a motorcycle company from a scooter company as a factual situation. And maybe for the old customers of uh, Bajaj Scooter, Chetak, Super, when they heard that Bajaj is going to stop making, and they didn't think they'd stop making till now. They didn't realize the production was negligible. Probably many of them didn't realize that. So to that extent, it became for them an emotional disconnect. Right, but the production has been negligible, but at least it has been there, Rajiv, and that's the important point uh, for uh, so many Indians who for decades have associated uh, Bajaj with Bajaj scooters. For them, the fact that uh, perhaps the last batch of scooters will now roll out in March, as you said, that itself was, uh, I would say, disturbing news or perhaps shocking news. Well, at its peak, the Bajaj scooter was about a million vehicles a year. Right. And uh, let's uh, put the horse in front of the cart. People stopped buying scooters and therefore Bajaj stopped making them. Uh, so what was 80,000 a month has uh, in the last 10 years or so dwindled to a few hundred a month. Right. Today, 70-80% of the market is motorcycles. And essentially what Bajaj is doing is what it did in the 80s. It is addressing 70% of the space um, in order to ensure that it has the best chance of building a profitable business. But why address 70 and 80 percent of the space only? Why not also look at that 30 percent that at one point was perhaps uh, your main business? For two reasons. One, it became apparent in the mid-90s that for some very tangible reasons, the consumer was shifting to motorcycles, whether it was design, fuel economy, um, comfort, etc. I thought it would be best to present the picture of a company dedicated to motorcycles, even though I did not know at that time that motorcycles would be as much as 80% of the market. But did you agree with that view as well? Did you also agree with the view that scooters needed to be phased out eventually, especially at a time when you've seen Bajaj scooters selling like hotcakes? No, my having seen them selling like hotcakes is a fact of life for two decades, a 10-year delivery period. Right. A premium which was exceeding the extractory selling price. Right. And those things we know. You couldn't have a marriage unless this was de demanded and given as a dowry. Right. Uh, all that we know. But the only thing is, when you say, asked him the question and asked me, everybody has a different way of thinking. I was the CEO, I ran the company, he is the CEO and he's running it very well.